Laser communication in space is free space optical communication in outer space. In outer space, the communication range of free space optical communication is currently of the order of several thousand kilometers, suitable for inter-satellite service. It has the potential to bridge interplanetary distances of millions of kilometers, using optical telescopes as beam expanders. Demonstrations and tests Topic 1991 to 2000 In 1992, the Galileo probe proved successful one-way detection of laser light from Earth as two ground-based lasers were seen from 6 million kilometers by the outbound probe. Topic 2001–2010 In November 2001, the world's first laser data connection was achieved in space by the European Space Agency satellite Artemis, providing an optical data transmission link with the CNES Earth observation satellite Spot 4. In May 2005, a two way distance record for communication was set by the Mercury Laser Altimeter instrument aboard the Messenger spacecraft. This diode pumped infrared neodymium laser, designed as a laser altimeter for a Mercury orbit mission, was able to communicate across a distance of 24 million kilometers, 15 million miles, as the craft neared Earth on a flyby. In 2008, the ESA used laser communication technology designed to transmit 1.8 gigabits per second across 45,000 kilometers. The distance distance of a LEO Geo link. Such a terminal was successfully tested during an in-orbit verification using the German radar satellite Terrazar X and the American NFIRE satellite. The two laser communication terminals LCT used during these tests were built by the German company TSAT Spacecom in cooperation with the German Aerospace Center DLR. Topic 2011 Today In January 2013, NASA used lasers to beam an image of the Mona Lisa to the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter roughly 390,000 km miles away. To compensate for atmospheric interference, an error correction code algorithm similar to that used in CDs was implemented. In September 2013, a laser communication system was one of four science instruments launched with the NASA Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer mission. After a month-long transit to the Moon and a 40-day spacecraft checkout, the laser COM experiments were performed over three months during late 2013 and early 2014. Initial data returned from the Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration LLCD equipment on LADEE set a space communication bandwidth record in October 2013 when early tests using a pulsed laser beam to transmit data over the 385,000 km miles between the Moon and Earth passed data at a Record breaking download rate of 622 megabits per second MBPs, and also demonstrated an error free data upload rate of 20 megabits per second from an Earth ground station to LADEE in lunar orbit. 
The LLCD is NASA's first attempt at two-way space communication using an optical laser instead of radio waves, and is expected to lead to operational laser systems on NASA satellites in future years. In November 2013, laser communication from a jet platform tornado was successfully demonstrated for the first time. A laser terminal of the German company Minerik formerly Violite Communications was used to transmit data at a rate of 1 gigabit per second over a distance of 60 km and at a flight speed of 800 km per hour. Additional challenges in this scenario were the fast flight maneuvers, strong vibrations, and the effects of atmospheric turbulence. The demonstration was financed by EADS Cassidian Germany and performed in cooperation with the German Aerospace Center DLR. In November 2014, the first ever use of gigabit laser based communication as part of the European Data Relay System was carried out. Further system and operational service demonstrations were carried out in 2014. Data from the EU Sentinel-1A satellite in LEO was transmitted via an optical link to the ESA Inmarsat Alphazar in GEO and then relayed to a ground station using a conventional car band downlink. The new system can offer speeds up to 7.2 gigabits per second. In December 2014, NASA's Opals announced a breakthrough in space to ground laser communication, uploading at a speed of 400 megabits per second. The system is also able to reacquire tracking after the signal is lost due to cloud cover. The OPALS experiment was launched on 18 April 2014 to the ISS to further test the potential for using a laser to transmit data to Earth from space. In February 2016, Google X announced to have achieved a stable laser communication connection between two stratospheric balloons over a distance of 62 miles 100 km as part of Project Loon. The connection was stable over many hours and during day and nighttime and reached a data rate of 155 megabits per second. In June 2018, Facebook's Connectivity Lab, related to Facebook Aquila, was reported to have achieved a bidirectional 10 gigabits per second air to ground connection in collaboration with Minerik. The tests were carried out from a conventional Cessna aircraft in 9 km distance to the optical ground station. While the test scenario had worse platform vibrations, atmospheric turbulence and angular velocity profiles than a stratospheric target platform the uplink worked flawlessly and achieved 100% throughput at all times. The downlink throughput occasionally dropped to about 96% due to a non-ideal software parameter which was said to be easily fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Future missions Laser communications in deep space will be tested on the Psyche mission to the main belt asteroid 16 Psyche, planned to launch in 2022. The system is called Deep Space Optical Communications, and is expected to increase spacecraft communications performance and efficiency by 10 to 100 times over conventional means. Topic. Commercial use Multinational corporations like SpaceX, Facebook and Google and a series of startups are currently pursuing various concepts based on laser communication technology. The most promising commercial applications can be found in the interconnection of satellites or high-altitude platforms to build up high-performance optical backbone networks. 
Other applications include transmitting large amounts of data directly from a satellite, aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicle UAV to the ground. Topic: <laughs> Operators. Multiple companies want to use laser communication in space for satellite constellations in low Earth orbit to provide global high-speed Internet access. Similar concepts are pursued for networks of aircraft and stratospheric platforms. <laughs> Suppliers. A substantial market for laser communication equipment may establish when these projects will be fully realized. New advancements by equipment suppliers is enabling laser communications while reducing the cost. Beam modulation is being refined, as its software, and gimbals. Cooling problems have been addressed and photon detection technology is improving. Currently active notable companies in the market include Topic Secure Communications Secure communications have been proposed using a laser end slit interferometer where the laser signal takes the form of an interferometric pattern, and any attempt to intercept the signal causes the collapse of the interferometric pattern. This technique uses populations of indistinguishable photons and has been demonstrated to work over propagation distances of practical interest and, in principle, it could be applied over large distances in space, assuming available laser technology, and considering the divergence of the interferometric signals, the range for satellite-to-satellite -satellite communications has been estimated to be approximately 2,000 km. These estimates are applicable to an array of satellites orbiting the Earth. For space vehicles or space stations, the range of communications is estimated to increase up to 10,000 km. This approach to secure space-to-space -space communications was selected by Laser Focus World as one of the top photonics developments of 2015. Topic. See also European Data Relay System Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration Laser Communications Relay Demonstration Satellite Constellation